We are looking forward to a taste of spring food. Specialist Charmaine Broughton joins us with three simple dishes that are really easy to make. Good morning. You're not going to end up like Tim with food all over the counter, right? <laughs> oh, likely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have for us? All righty. Well, the first recipe that I wanted to share is my sweet pea pesto. Uh, so it's just a great way to celebrate all those amazing flavors of spring with some uh, peas. But what I've done is I've just defrosted some frozen peas. And what you want to do if you want to shop local is look on the back of the uh, frozen pea package and it will say, you know, grown in Canada. So perhaps maybe that can be your choice this spring so we can support our uh, Canadian farmers. You want to let the peas defrost. And then I've made the pesto, instead of pine nuts, I've used a combination of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. So for a great hit of plant protein and just to switch it up a little bit. And much less expensive, then, right, <laughs> than pine nuts? Uh, actually, you know what, you're right. So uh, we're saving money here as well, folks. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, well, I'm all about budget, you know, feeding two teenage boys, I always have budget on mind. Uh, and then, of course, instead of the basil, we are using uh, the defrosted frozen peas, some mint, and again, some lemon. Uh, oh, some good quality parm in here. I've buzzed it all up uh, in my food processor. Then what I've done is I've gone into my pantry, I've taken a can of white beans, and I buzz the white beans up with the uh, sweet pea pesto, and you get this gorgeous, vibrant green dip. Now to uh, decorate it and make it, you know, entertaining worthy, even though we're, you know, probably hosting a smaller crowd this year, we can still make it look pretty. So with some more fresh mint, again, it just screams uh, springtime and uh, some, a good hit of quality olive oil and then some fresh cracked pepper. And I know there was a, um, there was a picture up on the screen. Oh, and then some pea shoots just to make it look really pretty. Nice. So I mean, if, you know, you bring a little bit of sunshine to your spring entertaining, and it's really healthy too. You know, you get all the plant protein from the, the, the sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and the white beans right from your pantry. Very good, and you've now, got sweet potato fries, one of my favorites. Well, you could do sweet potato fries. These are actually carrot fries. Oh, Again, are they really? Mm-hmm. So I take my carrots, I chop them up into thick french fry stick uh, pieces, toss them with a little bit of oil into the oven uh, for about 40 minutes with a little bit of salt and pepper. You want lots of room when you're um, roasting really any vegetable. So you get the nice brown, gorgeous uh, roasting colors so they're not steaming. And again, I have all the recipes up on my website. Okay. Then this one we're gonna, we're gonna top with a little bit of feta cheese, but if you wanted to make it vegan, you certainly don't have to add the cheese. The cheese just adds, um, you know, a little hit of zing uh, with, with the feta and some more mint. I just, this time of year, I just think every dish kind of screams like it needs some mint for spring. And then some more seeds like that. And then a little hit of fresh cracked pepper and a little bit of olive oil. And you've got these gorgeous dishes. They're so colorful. Very nice. And they just spring. They just scream springtime. Now, Annette, you know me, last but not least, we have to have dessert. Uh, so this is my lemon vanilla cake with a uh, cream cheese frosting, and I've layered lots of fresh fruit here. So both the cake and the icing I've made with the Gailey Baker's Gold European style unsalted butter. Uh, it's 84% milk fat. It's just absolutely delicious. You know, bring your spring and Easter baking to new heights with uh, the Baker's Gold butter. Uh, and then now we're going to top it with some more fresh fruit. Again, dessert, you know, it can be healthy yeah. with, if you, if you uh, load up on the dessert. Well, that's my theory. <laughs> at, <laughs> at, it's how I maintain my curves, folks. I just <laughs> add a lot of fruit to my dessert. So I'm loading up the fruit. And I mean, this is a showstopper as well. Uh, and then some toasted coconut on top. And I'm going to bring that's, this right That's up awesome. Camera. Charmaine, we've run out of time, but we're going to, oh, very nice. We're going to put the info up on our website, chch.com, for the recipes. Nice job. What? Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs>